Okay, so these are a few of my late season pre-winterization boat cleaning tips. I'm gonna do a complete detailing on this boat. Even though I've cleaned it after every fishing trip this year, it still has remnants of scorched salt, you know, salt water, there's been fish guts, remnants of grease and oil, and even some gasoline that spilled on the deck. You know, there's rust spots that have accumulated. There's algae and mold, and even some mildew in, under the hatches. These are all the things I want to address. There's no vinyl on my boat, there's no teak on my boat, but if you have that on your boat, you certainly want to address these things. Although fiberglass is pretty impervious, it will chalk up. Some of those stains get more stubborn the, uh, the longer you keep them there. For other materials, you could actually degrade the material if there's too much mold left in the teak, if the uh, vinyl isn't cleaned and protected. Now's the time before you cover the boat, because next season when you lift that cover, you're ready to go. You've protected your investment. Check it out. These are easy tips, and let's get started. My boat sits in the driveway under a few trees, and in the fall, as those leaves gather in a few select corners of the boat, they begin to decompose, and they stain the deck. They just make a mess, and if you leave those leaves and that stain on the deck through the winter, next spring it's that much tougher to clean and remove, and you could have a stain problem. I use a leaf blower to first blow leaves and sticks out of the boat. Then I remove all the gear from every storage compartment in the boat and mix up a bucket of Super Suds boat soap for the initial cleaning inside the boat and outside as well. Okay, so I've taken everything out of the boat. All the gear is out of the, the gear lockers and we are ready to get started with the initial cleaning. I'm going to use this product from Mary Kate. It's Super Soap. Um, <clears throat> it is a modern type of synthetic detergent that contains no soap. It won't strip the wax that's already on the boat off. And um, it's great because it's very concentrated. You know, you'll mix it with water, use a brush to scrub the boat deck, and really all surfaces very thoroughly with this product. And um, it will whisk away the grime and the dirt. If there are stubborn stains, and I think on my boat there's gonna be, uh, we'll go back and hit it with another product um, and, uh, and make sure we get all the stains and dirt off this boat before we proceed to the next steps. Let's go. Okay, so we completed the initial cleaning of the boat on the exterior, on the interior. The boat came out nice, but being under these trees this fall, uh, there was a lot of leaves that kind of built up in the corner of the boat. In certain areas, there were uh, pretty good staining from those leaves. Um, so I need to go ahead and use a, a stronger product, a stronger detergent like this Mary Kate cleaning detail. It's a non-skid cleaner that uh, also can be used on aluminum uh, and on the tougher stains. And so the way you use this is you spray down the boat again and uh, use a brush or a sponge uh, and apply the product, you know, work it in and then uh, spray it off. And it does a better job of cleaning uh, some of those deep down stains. Let's give it a try. Uh, I've used it for a while and it's been good to me. And uh, after that, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so um, the non-skid looks really, really good. That product worked very well. Moving on to my plexiglass on my center console. Uh, I really just want to I just want to make it really shine and, and uh, be as clean as it possibly can. I'm going to use this product from uh, Mary Kate. It's Glass Plex. It's a glass cleaner. It's great for plexiglass, acrylics, uh, real glass. So let's get to it. Just, just put it on, spray it on. Buff it in. Oh, wow. A big, big difference. This stuff is great. Okay, there's some areas, uh, particularly by the outboard engine or your engine compartment uh, in your hatches by the bilge that uh, have a buildup of grease. This outboard near the steering column has a buildup. I just hit it with uh, uh, a product like this. It's spray away, spray away, and it's an all-purpose cleaner. It, I find it does a good job on uh, grease stains and stuff, so I just basically hit um, the areas where I'm seeing that around the steering column. I'm gonna take a brush. To work that in, spray it off, and you're done. Okay, I'm at the final step here of getting the boat ready for the winter. I'm going to apply some wax to the exterior hull of the boat, but I'm also going to hit some of the glossy surfaces of the fiberglass on the interior of the boat. I'm using again Mary Kate. This is Maxi Wax. It's a cleaner and a wax. Basically, uh, it, it cleans, it polishes, 
and it protects. I put a little bit onto a, uh, a buffing cloth and starting at one end, working it in. Circular motion, and you're using a slightly damp buffing cloth. Wanna, I've shaken this, uh, this wax up first. Rub it in, real, really good. I can see it cleaning pretty much before my eyes. It's amazing, really good stuff. I like to do small sections and then wait till it goes, wait till it, it hazes up and chalks up. Then take a clean towel and you buff it off. It's really all there is to that. So today's an ideal day to wax a boat. Temperature's about 60 degrees. You wouldn't want to do this on a 90 degree day or a, or a 45 or 50 degree day. It's dry, it temperature's right, the, the wax applies much nicer. Um, it just is so much easier to work with when the temperature's right. So now I'm gonna hit all the gloss fiberglass areas within the interior part of the boat, let it haze up, uh, then we'll buff it out. It's great because fine scratches, stains, this is where you really finish off cleaning, uh, protecting, and polishing out the boat. It's great. Okay, so the boat's completely cleaned. It's waxed. It's looking good. Almost ready to cover for the winter. First, we got to winterize the outboard engine. We've got a great video on thefisherman.com that'll show you just how to do that. Uh, but again, there's just some great value in doing a detailed cleaning like we did here today on our boat. This way, when we pull that cover in the springtime, after we hear the fish are in the area, we're not messing around, putting wax on the boat, cleaning it up because we didn't put it away properly. This is the best thing to do now. Pick a good day. It's much more enjoyable on a good day and uh, just works great. Have a great winter and good fishing.